guys, this is the Lobby 88, and I wanted to show you this sticker book that I bought, and it was a bit of a surprise because I did not see the little thing at the top that said it was a Pip Sticks sticker book, so I thought I was just getting a generic sticker book. And I only paid two pounds on Vinted for this, so I'm pretty happy. I did get some other stuff as well, but I want to show this one today. So many stickers. This is the Flings book. So you get 2,700 stickers for every mood. And it says here, Happy, flirty, grouchy, worried, and more. Feeling all the feels? Express yourself. This epic collection of meaningful stickers helps you do just that. Each one like an emoji on paper. These stickers are perfect for your journal, snail mail, or planner. Anywhere you want to explore how you really feel and let it out. So we're going to take a look together. There's a lot of pages, like it is so thick. So. This is cool. So it talks about the sticker club and, you know, I will look into it, but I think it's a bit out of my budget. We have these cute little bugs. We have happy bugs, neutral bugs, sleepy bugs, angry bugs, and sad bugs. <laughs> That's so cute. We have these little word ones. Happy as a clam. Good as gold. Brave as a lion. Serene as a sloth. Sweet as candy. Tall as a mountain, cool as a cucumber, busy as a bee, free as a bird, hungry like the wolf. <laughs> oh, then there's other ones here. Um, mad as a hornet, sad like the willow, sly as a fox, loud as thunder, cold as ice. That's pretty cool. We have happy ice creams, normal ice creams, and sad ice creams. <laughs> They do look good though. We have plants. And these have little words underneath like bummed, tired, fierce, inspired. I like the colours of these. They're not too bold, but they're bright. We have some more little sayings. We have be happy, fired up, you got this, chin up, super duper, don't worry, just peachy, just breathe, so many feelings, not my day, feeling blue, feeling weighed down. Oh, I like these. <laughs> Look at the piggies. They got piggy faces and piggy booties. Oh my goodness, and they're like little emoji pigs. Oh, I think this is my favourite page so far. Yes. Oh, we have some text style ones with little emoji bubbles and hearts. And uh, it was so embarrassing. So excited. I'm so mad. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> we have some hand emojis. I'm not sure if this is like sign language or something. I know the thumbs up means okay. Maybe that means peace. Maybe that's like, is that like a rock and roll symbol or something? I don't know. I don't know. But they're pretty. They've all got their nails done. Oh, cup of tea. Later, haters. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> Hot stuff. These are cool. I like the little messages, all the feels. These are sweet. I like these. I do like the cups. 
Oh, crafty stuff. Crafty stuff. Crafty stuff. I wouldn't really say these are like emojis, but like it's still cool to have some crafty stickers. I've got scissors, pencils, washi tape, paints. <laughs> we have birds. We have happy, excited, dancy birds. Some hungry birds. We have sleepy birds. We have poops. And then we have sluggish birds. Oh, this one's crying. Oh. But again, I love the colors on these. These are so pretty. The little poops. <laughs> oh, we have these, oh, these word ones. Upset, furious, cranky, pleased, embarrassed, ecstatic, icky. <laughs> oh, these are nice. Look at these. These are, I like these. These are like traditional sort of emoji style. I mean, I know they're not like the circles with the faces, but like they're faces. So you've got like happy and this one looks kind of like he knows something that I don't. <laughs> we have some sad ones, some sort of, this one looks like he's terrified. Very cool. Oh. Typewriter, sending good vibes under the weather, deep like the ocean, loud as thunder. These are the same sort of things, happy as a clown, playful. Very good, down in the dumps. And oh, these are pencils. And these say like sly as a fox, sad like the willow, gentle as a dove. These are cute, playful as a pup. And I like that they've used the space in between for like sharpeners and the sharpenings. <laughs> Cute little dinosaurs. Yay! Oh, these are adorable. Oh, look at him. He's cute. Oh, I do like these dinosaurs. These are cute. Very nice. Yes, I like the dinosaurs. I specifically like this one. Okay, we have another crafty one. So these look like they're stitched and they're in little the wooden hoops that you embroider on. So these look like stitchings. Sending good vibes, feeling blue, mad. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, we have some more words. Grumpy, satisfied, cheeky. I like the colors of these. These are nice. We have some flowers and we have like bright and vibrant, some sort of more neutral ones, and then some that are a little bit, they haven't been watered, they're not very happy. And their petals are going. What are these? These are rosettes. And again, they have little things in them, bored, tense, upset, strong, flirty, happy. We have some weather icons. We, oh, I like the fact that they changed the colors of the rainbow to match the mood. So you have the traditional style with the sun and happy clouds. And you kind of have some neutral ones. It goes into sort of like a darker color. And then we go into like the darker like blues and purples down here and some storm clouds. That's really cool. I like that. This one's cute. We have some more little sayings on thin ice. Calm before the storm. Don't rain on my parade. In hot water. Blowing off steam. On cloud nine over the moon. We have some planets. These are cute. They've just got little different happy faces. This one's sad. This one's angry. Oh, we have cats. These are cute. Umbridge would love these. These are like portraits, I think, of cats. And they say like surprised, calm, stressed, worried. 
grumpy. Next we have vegetables and fruits. We have some avocados, apples, uh, cherries, bananas, uh, carrots, and some salad leaves I think. These are pretty cool. Some of the carrots are a little bit scared and the rest of them are quite happy and this one looks like kind of chill and this one's happy. We have some speech bubbles which say things like happy, in love, tired, frustrated, impatient, overwhelmed. Oh, new favorite page. Got my piggies, new favorite page. Dogs. I love dogs. They all look kind of sad though, except this one. <laughs> with the ones with the tongue out look happy, but the rest of them just kind of look a little bit sad. But they are so cute. This one looks like my dog. Very nice. We, oh, we have planes. These are clever and um, hot air balloons. But the, the planes having the little words at the back, that's pretty cool. We got down in the dumps, Boiling with rage, flustered, so rad, pumped. We have some typical hearts. We have some broken hearts. We have some together hearts, some, oh, some devil hearts. Ooh. Sad hearts, happy hearts, really pretty colors. I like that they're not just all red. We have some makeup ones. Says I can't even. <laughs> um, and how about no? This one says hot dang. <laughs> we have some more words. These are just like hand sort of written rough um, ones. And you also get some stars and hearts and peace signs as well. We have food. These are mostly, I think, donuts, and they say like carefree, annoyed, worried, confused. I don't really know how these are like emojis, but I will definitely use them. We have some more flags, flirty, beautiful, nope, crabby. <laughs> Oh, here's some more traditional uh, emojis, but in balloon form. So we have some, you know, sort of frustrated and upset. We have some sad ones, some feeling silly ones, in love, party, and happy. Very cute. We have some Christmas ones. Time to party, feeling festive, day to celebrate, merry and bright, uh, up to snow good. Creeping it real. Oh, bewitched. Resting Grinch face. <laughs> Not in the jolly mood. Party pooper. <laughs> oh, these are cute. These are exercising avocados. <laughs> this is me. Just, just like, nah. <laughs> nah. That's cute. That is very cute. <laughs> We have some notes, um, some like ripped paper, irate, icky, livid, dazed, at a loss, thrilled, pumped, lucky, proud. We have some more emoji ones. We have some that are a bit more like, um, like full of life. And then we have some that are like zen. And then we have some that are just like, these are still like doing exercise, but they're just more down, you know. We have some more words with just different colors behind them, like they're highlighted. Ooh, cakes. We have an angry cake, sad cake, playful cake, excited cake. Oh, we have some mouths. Stay cool. Take it easy. All smiles. Over it. I can't read that one. I can't.
can't read that one. I don't know what that one says. Nope. Oh, I think it's upside down. Nope. I can't read it. <laughs> no idea. We have some more words, but this time with little pens and pencils after them, so it looks like they're just finished writing. Whoops, some more animals. These are like jungle animals. I'm not sure what jungle animal that is, but they're all different colors. Rawr. I like these. Rawr. <laughs> they're cute. I like them. The, these are quite friendly. The only thing I would say about this sticker book... Oh, hang on. Got some jackets with words all on the back. Some more words in some like darker colors or like filled backgrounds. We have some more here. Let's do this. Good times. Take a break. All the feels. Some different colored rainbows. We've got the traditional ones. Some happy ones, some sort of like pastel, gentle ones, some slight cooler colors, and some black and whites. We have the traditional ones, so happy, sad, all the feels. Oh, and we have a couple of those. So we have a page of a line of each color. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Looks like we have. Uh, two happy ones, two neutral, and two sad of each color. Very cool. And three of the smaller ones. So I really like this sticker book. I'm glad I didn't pay too much for it. I think its original price is like $12.95 US, so probably like a tenner in the UK. Now, is it worth £10? Yes, absolutely it is. There are so many stickers. So, so many stickers. The only thing I would say makes me a little bit disappointed is how big the um, borders are around them. So, for example, here, like, there is a substantial amount of white around each sticker. Um, which A is a lot of wasted paper, but B also means that when you stick it down somewhere, you're gonna have this big border, and quite often it means that I have to cut these down using my teeny tiny little scissors so that I don't get that. Now that's fine, I'll do that, no problem whatsoever. These ones are fine because they're supposed to be like bordered but I just feel like there's so much wasted space. Like, look at this. What have they got that I can use? Can you see? Like there's just so much. I don't know if you can see. There's just so much. But uh, it's just one of those things. I mean, it could be their style. I haven't actually owned any pip sticks. So I don't know if that's kind of their thing is to have the bigger borders. I just wish they were a little bit more directly kiss cut. But I understand that probably ups the cost quite significantly because there would be more chance of error. So I'm really happy. This was like two quid and it's brand new. And I didn't know it was pip sticks when I bought it. So I'm really, really happy. I think overall this book is well worth the money, even if it was £10, um, because of the amount you get. And if you're going to do like a lot of journaling and planning and pen paling and decorating and stuff, I think you will definitely get your use out of this. So yeah, that's my little review for this. And I'm really, really excited to start using it. I might use some today. I do really like those pig butts. I might have to use a pig butt today. <laughs> we'll see. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know whether or not you've ever had any pipsticks in the comments down below. 
Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.